So here's your overview for week two of the Physical Sciences 152 course. And again, this overview, I'm going to touch on some of the core ideas that you need to be looking for as you work through the resources. What you're going to see in all these videos is that the four spheres of Earth is going to be one of the core concepts for this week. You're going to want to make sure you really understand what those four spheres are. Also, the idea of Earth system science and how these things interact with each other. And then the branches of earth science and really focus on the fact that these are overlapping branches. They're not completely separate, isolated branches. So as you work through the resources for this week, these are some of the core ideas that you're looking for to make sure you understand these things this week. Now for your resources this week, I want to point out ahead of time that there's a lot of overlap. When you start going through them, you might think, wow, these are like saying the same thing. I shouldn't have to do all of these. And there's a reason for this. And I want you to think about this like a sculpture. When you look at a sculpture for one side, you get a pretty good idea of what that sculpture is. But as you walk around and you look at it from slightly different perspectives, you understand that better. So as you read through the different resources for this week and watch the videos and as well as the textbook readings, you'll see slightly different wordings that may give you a better understanding of those core ideas. Now the other reason, and perhaps more importantly, is that there's a broader set of examples. So when they talk about the four spheres, one textbook might use some examples, whereas the next reading might use different examples. And by looking at all of these videos and all of these textbook resources, you're going to get a pretty broad set of examples, both for objects that are in the spheres, the way the spheres interact with each other, and how this relates to the different branches of earth science and the careers related to those things. And you're going to want that broader set of examples as you work through the activities for this week. Now there is a practice quiz and it's one of these game type quizzes so you can go through it and see what score you get. We're not actually going to have you report back to the class but if you wanted to brag about your score on the discussion board that's not a bad thing. We also have two specific discussion boards though where you're going to be discussing earth science careers and sharing some earth science images. The images you share on the discussion board may end up being ones that you end up using in your photo journal. You'll have a photo journal entry again for this week. And then you've got a short homework assignment. And this homework assignment has a few questions that are going to let you sort of dig in a little deeper and answer a few more subjective questions. Now by subjective, I mean there's more than one right answer, but there's definitely some wrong answers too. I want to see your understanding of the content in your answers to those homework questions. So that's our overview of week two. And again, always, I strongly encourage you to ask questions, interact with both me as your instructor and your fellow classmates as you're working through all of the material and activities for this week. Stay active and stay engaged.